All right, y'all, so real quick, this video is not going to be too long. I'm going to talk to you guys like it's a FaceTime. First of all, how you guys doing today? Hopefully, you guys are in the right type of vibration, getting to the bag and staying consistent. It's a beautiful day outside, so hopefully you have some time to get outside, get some other nature, get some meditation going, put your vibes in the right type of vibration, and do what you got to do, all right? So let's talk about this real quick, okay, because... I don't think you I don't think anybody really understands the true power that we all have when we do practice retention. And then I don't think people really understand the electricity, the electricity that's flowing through the body while you're on retention. Your thoughts, your words, your actions, bro, all become magnetic. They all like interconnect. All right. So we got to be careful of like how we go about the matrix. All right. Because put it like this a lot of people who practice retention are probably to themselves you know are probably you know maybe on monk mode probably finally cut off your ex because you know i ain't gonna hold you if you if you know anything about this lifestyle and then you know you you know anything about like you know sharing your sexual energy with a with a certain individual nine times out of ten bruh she's stigmatized she's still thinking about you even if she cheated on you and moved on, she's still thinking about your sexual energy, okay? Your sexual energy is super, super powerful. All because you've been cultivating it. All because you've actually been reserving it. The less that you do, the more it's going to be when you actually do have, you know, want to express that uh, emotion. But outside of that, the reason why we need to control it is because when we decide to transmute that energy, certain things start speeding up. We're talking about, you know, manifestations. We're talking about how our thoughts can materialize faster. And I think as a spiritual being, as somebody who's raising their vi vibration and, and raising their frequency, we have to be aware of what we actually be saying to ourselves. Even me. Now, I know somebody in the comment section two days ago, uh, you know, they, I, I forgot the title of the video but somebody commented saying like yo bro you know you're doing a good job with your videos but you know you want to watch how you speak you know using the f word and the b word and things like that right and for years i've had a lot of people come to the channel and say like yo bro you got to clean up how you speak and to to be totally honest i get where you guys are coming from and you know at the same time i'm gonna have to push back a little bit only because you know this type of energy and i'm not here trying to explain myself but this type of energy when i am expressing myself it does come from an organic raw place and y'all know me if i sit here and start to blurt out all the words and stuff i don't think you guys will really be filling the videos like that and you know i don't want to like you know what i'm saying like change who i am completely but here's the thing when i'm having internal conversations with myself I think that's where I need to change my conversation. You feel me? I can express myself a certain way and I may use a curse word here and there, but you know, I have this relationship with God and God knows me. God knows my heart. He knows my intentions. He knows where I'm coming from. So, uh, you know, with that being said, let's, let's, let's uh, really think about this shit for a second because when we go about our day as humans, we tend to speak into existence our reality based on how we feel. If we feel sad, if we feel down, a lot of times we're gonna be like, man, I'm not, I don't know if I'm feeling the vibrations today, or I don't know if I wanna deal with this person, or I want, if I wanna even continue this journey because I feel shitty. I feel like I flatlined. See, usually when you are retaining your energy, and then again, I, I barely be speaking on this shit, but it does happen, especially when you're on a high street. You feel me? Um, somebody had commented, commented on my video yesterday, speaking of somebody, you know, I'm not even going to like speak on it like that because I don't know, bro. Niggas be dry snitching and shit. Like I don't be giving a fuck about what people be doing, bro. You feel me? I really don't. You know what I'm saying? I think we're all on the same journey and you know, we all make mistakes. We all have came short of the glory of God. So low key, I don't want to be hearing nobody. I don't want to be hearing about nobody's downfall. But nah, apparently somebody mentioned something about, you know, a certain creator who got to start over their street or whatnot. Probably, you probably hit a flatline. It happens. 
you feel me but during that flat line what actually you know kind of um because i don't know the situation or anything like that but more 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 often more times than not there was some type of internal conversation going on you know what i'm saying and this is what i'm saying we can't let the emotions of feeling down the flat line uh emotions of depression we can't make that we can't it's not good to bask in that type of energy because once you bask in that type of energy now you're going to get to talking like man i don't know it's been such and such it's been this long since i've been retaining oh i don't know maybe i don't know how i'm feeling today it is what it is little stuff like that when you say to yourself like man i don't know da 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 you're actually giving permission to the universe to usher in that reality of like yeah you are sad yeah you don't know what to do yeah you are confused it's almost kind of like we spoke that onto ourselves so just like how a lot of people come to this come to my videos and they tell me yo you know watch how you speak and stuff like that yeah i i agree in that in that regard you know what i'm saying because god is always listening the universe is always listening the universe literally is like balls of fire and electricity and magnetism so usually how things manifest and this is kind of like an esoteric breakdown of it but usually how things manifest they start in the mental dominate the mind now the conversation gets going now depending on what you're doing in life or if somebody triggered you to feel uh, some type of way usually when you get into those lower emotions that's when we need need to exercise discipline on ourselves we literally have to stop and speak positive like we literally have to speak positive even in a cantankerous situation even in a situation where like okay you know you fucked up you know you fucked up right but the energy that you do have because again if you're retaining your energy breath things happen really really fast a lot of people always got to start over their streaks because again they get caught up in their head have the internal conversation and then depending on whoever they link up with they ain't really trying to help the situation either because they're already vibrating in a, in a, in a uh, lower vibrational state and uh, again it's i think it's just very important that we watch what we are what we say to ourselves throughout the journey and um i was i was watching this pretty much i was watching this video and it was kind of like a reminder as to how quick the universe actually moves <laughs> how quick like thoughts travel how how quick ideas travel bro and um you just want to be careful of how you express yourself just in general so again this is a video this is a message not only for y'all but for myself as well um when i look back on the week i want to say because there's a fine line between uh, being uh giving yourself constructive criticism and then of course it's being negative to yourself it's okay to like kind of talk to yourself to get yourself on the right path but at the end of the day if you're talking to yourself like you are losing you will lose and you will experience a relapse or you will experience some type of confusion or you will experience those love vibrational emotions all because you spoke that shit into existence don't go on SEMA retention get all this energy all this creative energy and have that shit backfire because it can it actually can backfire the very second that you decide to say you know what I want, like whatever i'm just gonna live my life bro you dog you're gonna manifest an event in your life that's going that's gonna mirror that you feel me so now okay a lot of people would be like well so in other words you're saying retain your energy and just speak positive well what if because i can hear somebody say this now i can hear somebody say well what if like i'm practicing i'm doing the right things and 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 i'm speaking positivity but it feels like I'm I'm delusional or some shit because your situation is not showing that you know you are experiencing something that's positive. Like, how do you get out of that? See the thing about it, bro. Again, if we are vibrating in the third dimension, because you know there's been a shift 
you got certain beings in in 5d right now that's hot that's vibrating at a high vibrational rate but if you're in the third dimension the longer i would say you um avoid trying to heal yourself and the longer you avoid trying to discipline yourself the harder it's going to be to actually succeed so you got to be patient with yourself and believe honestly you got to really believe in yourself bro this shit is crazy again you don't want retention backfiring <laughs> you feel me because it, it it has happened it has happened to me before you feel me um where i felt like i was on top of the world you know i got to one time i got to like 90 days of retaining my energy and then you know i just had that little conversation in my head and the conversation was like bro these hoes is on your dick bro like you feel me this chick she wants to chill with you man see what it is man see what you can do with your wrist game and see if you can handle yourself and then every time you know because mind you it's not only you that's having a conversation with yourself but like i said there's different entities different spirits that are aware of your natural life force energy they are very aware of it they could see you glowing in the spiritual realm first they could feel that that magnetism they can feel something going on so at any given point of time there's always going to be some type of being or entity that's trying to get you to stay be in your lower nature and stay in your lower nature and then it's like kind of like how and i and I, I explained this in my video maybe a couple of months ago about like how when you the longer you go on retention the more intelligent your body becomes your higher self becomes intelligent but not only does your higher self become intelligent your lower self becomes intelligent too so even your lower self will try to find loopholes and different ways to try to express itself and it, it, and sometimes bruh we can't even blame the matrix we got to blame ourselves because we allow these little con these lower vibration lower vibrational conversations to happen you feel me you allow yourself to feel alone and feel down and feel sad and feel like you're in 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 lack of when you are breathing in and out your body sends off how should i put it? it's like a, your body sends off a, 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 an electromagnetic wave you feel me like you have an aura so when you are speaking positively your aura is expanding and you are raising your frequency when you're speaking negatively you are lowering your frequency you are lowering yourself okay and, that, and that's very 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 important to kind of understand you have to take control of the wheel you feel me life and death is in the power of the tongue and it's kind of like when you program your body and you program your mind and even if you program the way how you speak like how you do that shit bro is first of all it's super important and then you have to realize at any like at the end of the day your body is a superhuman machine well it, i mean when i say superhuman i would say supernatural machine which we call the human and i think we just have to understand that like you know nobody's safe you feel me like you could be on a straight and narrow for three years and it only take that one time for you to you know what i'm saying entertain the idea of feeling left out or feeling alone it's all about feelings and mastering emotions at the end of the day bro it's not so much more about controlling your sexual energy but it's actually uh managing your emotional state when people and things try to get you into a lower vibrational state you have to uh i would say find a way and work work your way out of that emotion because if that emotion that dominates how you feel you're gonna start to get to thinking when you get to thinking now the conversation and the chatter is gonna happen that's gonna manipulate you so you end up manipulating your own self bro see what i'm saying so once we understand how effective we are in the matrix with ourselves especially with this new energy this this life force energy because it is intelligent at the end of the day but people still make dumb mistakes it's kind of like having a ferrari or a brand new expensive car 
just because it's nice and you souped it up and everything, that don't mean nothing if you don't know how to drive the damn car. If you don't know how you trying to reverse the car and the car is going forward. If you don't know how to control, that's what I'm saying. If you don't know how to control your emotions, if you don't know how to control your emotional state, you're in for a long fucking ride. It's just that simple, bro. It's that simple. So, you know, don't let this thing get to your head. You know, don't let this shit backfire. You know what I'm saying? Uh, learn from other people's mistakes. Again, somebody spoke on somebody uh, having to start over their streak. And I'm not going to lie, bro, to, to be able to go that long. Uh, you know what I'm saying? 300 something plus days, man. Shout out to uh, shout out to the brother. You feel me? Keep doing your thug dizzle as well. You feel me? But like also understand this is a journey, bro. People's going to make mistakes. People's going to make mistakes. But what we what we want to do is when we do have these mistakes, find the core of the problem or find the source of where the shit started from. And nine times out of ten, it's the food that we eat the crowd that we keep the emotional states that we are in and then the fact that we choose to be in certain um emotional states we actually choose to struggle some people choose not to be on a not to be on retention not because they don't want to or not because they don't want to have the benefits but as humans we enjoy for some reason we enjoy roller coasters <laughs> we enjoy ups and downs we're actually addicted to that shit, bro. For real. I'm not even gonna lie. On a subconscious level. I see too many people do this shit, bro. Where it's like... They let... It's like they let the best of them get to them. Because they choose to be an emotional... Uh, a lower vibrational state. Which is, you know what I'm saying? Lower emotions. So it's like... I feel... For me... I feel like I've been trying myself. I feel like I have been sliding myself. And the only reason why I say that, and I'm still going to speak positive about myself, but at the same time, I got to be real with myself, bro. I've been letting a lot of negative uh, shit, a, a lot of negative chatter kind of get to me in the past. And then my life has shown that, yeah, okay, well, if you say that you're this, then your experience is gonna show you that you're this. So basically, if you say that you're broke, the universe is gonna tell you, yes, I agree, you are broke. You know, if you say you can't get no female attraction, the universe is gonna agree with you and says, yeah, you're right, you can't get no female attraction. You said it. If you say it, it must be true. One thing about how the universe works and everything is that the beautiful thing about the universe is it actually never says no. It never says no. You talk if you're talking to God, God never say no. He never say no. And it's crazy how like we just need to understand that concept. You feel me? Because nine times out of ten, whatever is going through your mind and stuff like that, that's not even your own natural thoughts. And because it's not your own natural thoughts, you have to keep in mind, like, okay, if I'm thinking about this or if I'm thinking this way. Why am I thinking like this? Who's, whose thoughts are these? Excuse me. Whose thoughts are these? You know what I'm saying? Do I really resonate it? Do, do I really resonate with it? Does my soul resonate with it? You know what I'm saying? Just think about that shit. So after I realized, you know, how powerful it is, you know, the power of life and death is in the power of the tongue and everything like that, I realized, like, you know, I'm going to just do a better job of, you know, speaking positivity into my life and I'm going to start... You know, uh, just reciting certain affirmations, man. You can change your vibrations drastically. I'm talking about yesterday would have been a shitty night for me last night. It really would have been very, very shitty had I, you know, um, be in the emotion of irritation and anger. Bro, I realized, like, man, this whole time, bro. Because, you know, we all have, we have highs and lows. Sometimes we choose to get to the, to be in those lows just to, like, feel something as, as humans. And I don't know, maybe that's just a human thing. But, damn, I just realized I just been kind of, I just been kind of, like, cheating myself based on, you know, things that I say to myself. You feel me? 
and not knowing that like bro you manifest faster than the average person like if you are in tune with yourself if you have been practicing retention if it, if it has been something for you and you have like a true relationship with god you know you get everything first god gonna give you everything first anything that you ask for you see what i'm saying so even in the just like in the positive way same way negative too bro god will show you like all right well it, since you believe that i'm gonna show it to you i'm gonna give you that until you believe that otherwise this is what you're gonna keep experiencing so that's why a lot of people sometimes are struggling and don't know why they're struggling what's the internal chat like you know what i'm saying what is the internal conversation like you know um and this is this is this goes a long way with manifesting this goes a long way with female attraction this goes a long way with you know having the confidence the utmost confidence and um for real though it's kind of like a you are your own worst enemy uh, to a certain degree you are your greatest opponent opponent to a certain degree because when you wake up in the morning there's nobody whispering into your ear unless you got a female shout out to you but there's nobody in your ear telling you what to do or how to feel you choose to do whatever and feel however you want to feel so um again sometimes people are just willingly struggling not knowing that like bro just c control what you say control what you say speak positivity into your life speak life into your life bro for real start speaking positivity into your life i promise you and um you wouldn't have to worry about being in a low vibrational state where you gotta defend yourself and you gotta fight yourself and then you know what i'm saying try to get over like low vibrational thoughts like prayer is key you know what i'm saying uh just give yourself time to talk to god and pray you know um and then from there the more you become aware of your thoughts and how you feel that's when your uh your reality is going to drastically change fast as hell like it's going to change open your eyes bro god gave you more than what you uh god gave you everything that you need already so it's just a matter of you mastering you know what i'm saying what god gave you you feel me you got to use the tools that god gave you bro like for real for real and you know when you are able to do that bro that's when this journey journey is going to be a dope thing to experience you're going to have a lot of fun you're going to meet new friends you won't feel guilty either uh you won't feel no type of shame either you know what i'm saying and then when you do connect with the woman that is you know rightfully uh equally yoked to you you wouldn't look at uh like being on retention and then instead of basically i don't even like to call it a relapse i just say it's a reset you feel me it's more like a uh it's kind of like a, a, a release you know what i'm saying i think it's only a relapse when you know you release to obviously things on online or an individual that you know that you don't have no business being with in the first place that's a relapse in my opinion but but if you talk about something that's Gen uh, generally organic and you are growing with this individual you're growing with this young lady you plan to have a family and things like that um it's not a bad thing bro it's it's human na nature to to experience and have that type of uh you know expression you feel me and and to and to enjoy it too that's how you usher another soul into this into this realm of reality how the fuck you think you got here you know what i'm saying so yeah bro uh <laughs> again it, it's crazy when we hear about certain things it seems as though like you know what i'm saying the community the semen retention communities and shambles when they hear one of us you know they they hear one of our the content creators you know talk about their mishaps or their relapses and stuff like that but um first of all y'all niggas ain't shit i don't like when people like people will give you attention when they see that you failed people will tune in just to see oh well what happened you know what i'm saying or you know people just wait on your downfall bro you know what i'm saying i i think my videos would get more views 
if I, you know, obviously talk about women or if I come out and say, hey, I relapse type shit, it's going to get more views than normal. And to those people who come through just to watch a man as he has failed or whatever like that, like me personally, I don't think y'all should. But then I also think that, like, you know, that's just uh, that's just what comes with the territory, bro. You feel me? People do want to see you fail. Um, and but at the end of the day, dog, I just encourage anybody, bro. Like, it's not even about what people think or how they look at you. At the end of the day, it's what you got going on with your spiritual journey and how you carry yourself, and you know how you could just like wake up the next morning and start a new streak, or don't even worry about what the fuck you was going through. You feel me? Obviously, you bring it to God, and then you address it with God, and then you work on certain things. You know what I'm saying to better yourself and to find out how not to get back into those situations and again if you break it down on an esoteric knowledge i mean esoteric if you break it down as far as it being esoteric knowledge you'll understand that um we can't blame the matrix we can't blame the lower vibrational females or anything like that we have to guard our mind and we have to guard and watch what we say because what we say can either raise our vibrations or it can lower lower our vibrations y'all y'all watch a lot of my videos because whenever i'm speaking yeah i speak real but y'all don't ever see me bash y'all in the videos like that even down to like eating food and stuff you, you guys know i talk a lot about you know being aware of what you eat and how much times you're eating and stuff like that and i still see people in the comment section saying like yo moody i hear what you're saying but i'm gonna have me some a pack of cookies from time to time i'm gonna have me a spicy chicken sandwich from time to time I'm not finna sit here and crash out and say, oh, you oh you guys are gonna be low vibration. Nah, bro, like, it's part of the journey, bro. You know what I'm saying? Again, you can have fun. Just have a little control. You can have fun, have a little control, and then understand your emotional state is a bigger deal than um, what most people will actually say. It's, uh, like, people will be on retention and will be like, oh, control your sexual energy, discipline, discipline, this, that, and the third. No, it's your emotions. It's your emotions, bro. If you don't feel at peace, oh, yeah, you're going to see the beast. And that's not going to be a good thing, bro. If you don't feel at beast, if you, if you don't feel at beast, if you don't feel at peace and you feel conflicted from within, it's going to express itself, though. So we need to go back to doing breathing exercises. We need to go back to doing uh, meditation. We need to go back to uh, writing out certain affirmations. Speak power into your life and watch how you watch how your your reality, your perception on reality will change completely. And whole time you'll be like, damn, this is a gem right here. This is a gem right here. Damn, all I had to do was just take myself out of this certain mind state um show some discipline show some control put my attention towards this particular um this particular way and understand like damn this is a this is a whole new realm of reality all because i'm speaking positively to myself and i'm mastering of course seeing retention and i'm mastering the, the self-control even when you feel some type of way you still have to big yourself up you still have to speak positive to yourself with that being said, man, MGT with a douche, boy, movie star. And I'm back again with another video. If you're new, you already know what to do, man. Become a subscriber, like the video, and join MGT. This is a channel where I like to highlight kind of events and talk about my spiritual walk in. It's beautiful, fucked up, sideways ass matrix. Now, first of all, I gotta say a special shout out to anybody that's holding on to your energy going within and being high vibrational here at MGT. This is what we do. We work on ourselves every single day. Intro for the outro. Yo, I'm WC, you guys, on the next video. Make sure you're drinking your water and make sure. Again, bro, like, start talking, start talking good to yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? Everything starts in the spiritual realm, and then it goes into the mental realm. And uh, if you don't filter out certain things, um, you feel me? You're just going to be running in that same little circle the whole time. All because you lost, lost track of, <clears throat> you lost track of, like, um, controlling your emotional state. And again, a lot of guys don't speak on this shit, bro. A lot of guys get into certain things because we don't know how to, you know, um, deal with our emotions. We don't know how to deal with, you know, feeling sad or mad. And usually when we're sad or mad or irritated, 
we react a certain way and that's usually through us expressing our sexual energy you feel me so just understand bro if you can just be ahead of the curve and be ahead of your lower nature because again as you continue this journey your lower nature will get intelligent as well so you got to be on your p's and q's at all times not only just out here in the matrix but within yourself when you master yourself and you master yourself from within and just be prepared to uh enjoy the journey it's gonna be different it's gonna be unpredictable i can't even tell you what's gonna happen next but yeah, man, just stay positive, bro. And again, it's been your boy, Moody Star. Shout out to everybody on the journey, starting a new street, or has been holding it down. I fucks with you guys. Keep doing what you got to do. I'm going to definitely see you guys on the next video. And um, yeah, man, stay righteous, stay positive. I'm definitely see you guys on the next one. Peace.